Here's CNH Industrial Reman. We take end of the line testing very seriously. And what we're watching today is our basic level engine testing. Currently, he's, uh, he's hooking the engine up on the stand right now. There are several items to hook up. Um, but basic level engines don't have a fuel system. They don't have a turbocharger. So since they're not complete enough to run, you know, we still have to have a way to test them. So this stand was custom built um, by our design. Uh, it's roughly a quarter million dollar investment to ensure that the customers are getting exactly what they're expecting, an engine that performs and lasts like new. This process validates our assembly processes as the engine went down the assembly line. This is an automated test that starts by selecting a test profile as the specified work instructions require. So the yeah, operator enters the serial number, operator number, and that, the data is all saved under that. So every engine model has a specific test profile. These profiles are set up by our engineering department and this ensures that the test cannot be manipulated by anyone running the machine. By doing this, we're assured that the engines are all tested as they should be every time. Repeatable testing is what it takes to have um, quality products. So, uh, this test is performed on the same stand it was assembled on. This reduces handling time, which in turn reduces cost. Uh, we also have um, power inverters on those stands, which allows them to keep it up a laptop plugged up to it so they have their operator instructions close at hand. So the operator couples the engine to the stand. You can see he's already got it up there, got it clamped up. Couples the drive shaft to the crankshaft, fills the engine with 10 weight oil. We use a 10 weight oil because that represents 1540 oil at 180 degrees. Uh, he's hooking up a pressure transducer on it as well so we can measure crankcase pressure. We'll measure vibration in three axes. And we're also measuring oil pressure and rotational drag you know, during this test. This machine gathers data 20 times a second. So in about a 90 second test, it really gathers quite a bit of data that becomes part of the permanent record for this engine. This engine will ramp up through five different RPM ranges and then come back down through those same five RPM ranges all the while measuring and recording data during the whole test. So. Um, you know, and this is the this is how you test a basic level engine. This is um, this is quite a bit more than than most people normally do on a basic level engine. So we're going to go ahead and we'll spin this thing. It's it's pretty noisy. It actually sounds kind of like it's running, um, but it's actually not. It's actually just spinning it. So here's at the low RPM which is where we typically would measure uh, compression, 300 RPMs. And it ramps up to the next level all by itself. You can, see, you can also see the graph coming across the screen. That's where we're measuring rotational drag as well as compression, or excuse me, oil pressure. Once the test is complete, it will print a sheet of paper with all the data on here. You will see that pop up on the screen. The operator validates that the data that's been gathered matches uh, the um, specifications supplied.